Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Love From Lizzie's August 2020 card kit. As I'm recording this voiceover, the card kit is still available along with most of the add-ons. I have provided links in the description box if you are interested in this kit. Lizzie's monthly kits do sell out very quickly, so if you are wanting this one, I would suggest not waiting. So let's go ahead and get started with my first card. I'm using a card sketch from MFT. This is number 396. If you are interested in any of the card sketches I share, I have all of that information listed on my coordinating blog post, and that link is provided in the description box below. For this first card, I'm using two different pattern papers. The one in the background has these lovely tiny blooms, little rows of them all across the background. And then I have some tone on tone paper with leaves all over it. I'm layering both of these pieces using some pearlescent cardstock that I have in my craft room. Lizzie's kit does include some colored cardstock, but since I add so many layers, I will be including additional cardstock. I also pick up the specialty cardstock bundle that Lizzie offers as an add-on since it adds such a beautiful shine and shimmer to the cards. For the image and the sentiment on my card, I'm using some of the ephemera pieces. So I have the sentiment, life is good, and it already has the little fishtails cut on at the end, so it's ready to go. And then I have two different blooms, one of them's a laurel, and the colors match perfectly with that pattern paper. So I'm just going to glue the two ephemera pieces down first. I'm going to pop up some of it using some thin foam squares. I'm just holding up the sentiment so I can get the placement right. And I said I'm going to pop up that sentiment completely using some more of those thin foam squares. I'll make sure to put enough foam squares on the back so there isn't one area that's sagging at all. I'm just trying to make sure there wasn't going to be a little lump where it's going over the stems. So I'll attach that to my card. And then just for a finishing touch, I'm using some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This was included in a previous Love From Lizzie kit and the color matched beautifully with this pattern paper. And I like my Nouveau Drops on the flatter side, so I just pulled it off screen and tapped it along the edge of my table. Now just to add a little extra sparkle, I'm using Nouveau Shimmer Pen on the leaves and also the bloom. So there is my finished card, and this is card number one. Now moving on to card number two. This sketch is from I Heart Sketches. It's number 55. For the background, I have this fun map with little bicycles and houses and trees all over it. So I really wanted to feature that on a card. I'm using a border die, a little scallop border die for the very top. And I cut that out using some pearlescent paper, which is one of the add-ons from Love From Lizzie. I'm gonna stamp out one of the sentiments. This is hello there. Just use some solid cardstock for the layer and also that strip that goes across the bottom of the card. After I adhere that piece to the card, I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast and shine using some Love From Lizzie peel-offs, and this is the racing green color. I'm using the medium width and just putting it along the edge of this pinkish purple paper. And I always cut mine just a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and then I tuck the ends behind. That way I don't have to worry about them coming off later. And I wanted to add a little extra sparkle, so I'm using one of my favorite colors. This is the pink holographic peel-off in the straight style. They are a little bit wider than the regular pinstripe design. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back of this panel, add it to the cardstock layer. Try to make sure to get it nice and straight. Then I'll add my card front onto a card base. And for the image on the card, I'm using another one of the ephemera pieces. This is fun little bicycle. And instead of using the square that's indicated on the sketch, I'm gonna have an oval. It fit the bicycle a little bit better. So since some of the oval is going off of that pink cardstock, I wanna make sure it's not gonna dip down. So I'm just gonna add a scrap of leftover cardstock to the top portion before I adhere it to the card. 
When I said I'm going to pop up the bicycle, so I'm using some more of the thin foam squares. Try to make sure to get good coverage so there isn't any area that sags down. And I even cut some of my foam dimension to get into those tiny little areas on the bicycle. I'll remove the backing and adhere it to the oval. Since the background pattern paper is fairly busy, I didn't want to add another pattern paper. It would have been too much for the eye to look at all of those patterns. So this is why I included just some solid cardstock instead. So now finishing off the card, I'm using some of the sequins from the kit and I'm selecting just the green color. It goes nicely with the peel offs and also that green oval matted layer. I'll put a few of them in the lower left hand corner and then a few of them in that upper right hand corner. Just attach them using some liquid adhesive. And after I attach all of the sequins, I'm going to add a few of the peel offs that are included in the kit. And this is a new peel off style and I love this. This is the mini hearts. She also has mini circles and mini stars. But the mini hearts is in the mauve moon dust and that's a new color for this style peel off. So I'm just putting two of them above the sentiment and then adding some more sparkle using the Nubo shimmer pen. So there is my finished card and this is card number two. Now moving on to card number three, I won't be using a card sketch this time. I'll be layering the background using some of the green pearlescent paper that's part of the add-on bundle. I have two different pattern papers. I have this blue graph paper and then the background has a bunch of images and sentiments and most of it's going to be covered up. I'm going to use some more of the racing green peel offs just putting them along the edge of that blue pattern paper. And then before I adhere that piece in place, I'm using a few of the cut apart images from the 12 by 12 sheets that are included in the kit. And the large 12 by 12 sheet is the same as this six by six sheet that I have for the background. So I thought it'd be fun to have the larger image and then just use the smaller images as that background piece. Before I adhere those three pieces, I'm going to add some of the blue skinny ribbon. I put a piece of score tape down first and then attached both of the ribbons, just wrapping the ends behind this panel, adhering them in place with another piece of score tape. So I add some ATG to the back, layer this on that green pearlescent paper. And I just fussy cut out these three floral images. They have the little polka dot border all around the outside and it was fairly easy to just follow with my scissors. So I'm trying to make sure to get them evenly placed and I am going to pop up all three of them using some foam dimensional tape. And while I'm attaching the foam pieces, I'm trying to go over the ribbon. I don't want to add that extra little bump. I did speed up this portion quite a bit so you didn't have to watch me slowly put on foam and remove the backing. So I just lay them loosely while I decide where to place them. Attach the middle one first and then the outside two pieces. I'm going to use some of the blue ribbon to tie a bow. I like to make the loops large and then as I tighten it, I make those loops a little bit smaller and then I'll just trim off the tail. And I couldn't decide where I wanted to place it yet, so I figured I'd work with the sentiment next. So I have two different ephemera pieces. This is beautiful every day. Again, trying to figure out where I wanted to place these. So I end up putting them in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm going to attach the bow to this floral image on the left. And I just attach the bow using a small glue dot. I'm going to pop up both of the ephemera pieces using some more thin foam squares. I'll remove all of the backing and then I'll attach the word every day first since it's going to be underneath. Just trying to figure out where I wanted to place it. And then the word beautiful is going to go more to the left side of the word every day. 
I'll add a couple more of the hearts. So I'm using two different sizes. I have the largest size and also the middle size. And then I'm adding a little extra detail using some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is the Morning Dew color. I'm just going to add them to all of the floral blooms just for a little extra detail. And then later, after I finished the card, I did decide to pull out the Nouveau Shimmer Pen and added it to all three of the circles behind the flowers. And there is my finished card. Now moving on to card number four. I'm using one of the journal cards from the 12 by 12 paper. And I have this beautiful floral paper for the background of the card. Used another strip of this blue graph paper to go across the card. I use some Love from Lizzie peel offs to add a little bit of contrast and shimmer. This is the silver moon dust color. And I'm using the widest width. And since I'm going to cover up the middle area, I don't have to use a full strip. I could just use some of the little scraps that I have. It's always a good idea to save any of those extra little peel off pieces. So I'll attach this panel to a some pink cardstock. And I just pulled this off screen real quick to trim off the bottom edge since that pink cardstock was a little too wide on the bottom. Then I use a scalloped rectangle die for this journal card for a little extra detail. And I'm adhering it to some pink holographic cardstock. This was from one of Love From Lizzie's add-on bundles. I think a couple years ago. I've had it in my stash for quite a while. And this is the very last bit of it. So I'm a little sad about that. I'm going to pop up this whole journal card using some foam dimensional tape. I do make sure to get good coverage so there isn't an area that sags at all. Attach this to the center of my card. And I don't know if anybody has guessed what the sentiment's going to be yet. But if you know my page, you'll have figured this out. So the sentiment is going to be the best things in life are pink. As soon as I saw this journaling card, I knew I had to make a card and add the word pink. And since the kit includes letter dies, this turned out perfectly. I'm using some pink glitter cardstock. This was from one of Love From Lizzie's add-on bundles. And I decided not to try to put those letters straight. I think it makes it a little interesting to put them a little off center. So I adhere all of those in place and then adding some extra pink to the card using some of the puffy stickers. There's two blooms that have this beautiful pink flower. And then I did decide to use one more later and put it in the upper right hand corner. And then just final finishing touch, I'm using some more of the Nouveau Crystal Drops in the Morning Dew color. This was a bottle that was included in a previous Love From Lizzie kit. That's what's so nice about having those Nouveau drops. The bottles last forever. So there is my finished card, and that one was so much fun to make. Now moving on to card number five. This is one of my favorite pattern papers in the whole collection. I'm going to layer that on some pearlescent cardstock. This is the same color I used, I believe, on the first card. I'm using some solid cardstock for this strip that goes across the front, adding some of the racing green peel offs. And even though I'm not following a card sketch, I feel like this is very similar to many of the card sketches I've used before. Start getting used to some of those same patterns. So for that wider strip on the left, I used the leftover of this tone on tone floral design. It matches beautifully with that background paper. Layered it in the same pink cardstock. And I'm just adding some scrap cardstock above and below where it's going over that green paper. For the image on the card, I cut out this beautiful floral bouquet. This is a cut apart that's included on one of the six by six pattern paper sheets. Just layered that in the same cardstock. And I'm using some of the green skinny ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around the card once. And it's going to go behind the image and the sentiment. And then I'll also be tying a bow on the left hand side. 
Instead of tying that bow loosely, this time I slipped it underneath the other piece of ribbon and then tied my bow. Although I think I would have preferred to do it loosely because I couldn't get the bow to turn the direction I wanted. And I messed with this bow quite a bit later when I finished this card. So still gonna put the score tape on the back side to make sure that ribbon's not gonna come off of the card. Add this to a white card base. And then I can attach my image. And since the very right hand side of that image piece goes off of the other layers, I'm just gonna put a few foam squares. And since it's a very thin edge that goes off of the other layers, I'm cutting the foam dimension into just these tiny pieces. I probably could have skipped this part altogether. I don't think there would have been that noticeable dip since the pattern paper is a very heavy weight and then it also has the cardstock layer, but I decided to add them anyway. Now I'm using one of the puffy stickers that has a sentiment. This is never let go of your dreams. And I'll put one foam square on the right hand side, just trying to keep everything nice and level. And then finish off the card using some of the sequins and once again, just using the green color. I think it matched perfectly with this card and added some really nice contrast. Put three of them in the upper right-hand corner and then two of them in the lower left-hand corner. Adhere those in place using some liquid adhesive. I'm a huge fan of using pattern paper and this card is a great example of what I think is an ideal mix. So I have that busy sheet of pattern paper, I have a strip of some tone on tone pattern paper, and then I just add in some solid cardstock to balance everything out. So there is my finished card and this is card number five. Now moving on to card number six, I'm using the shimmer powder that's included. This is the Lunar Rocket color. So I have some watercolor paper, spritz some water all over the background, and now I'm taking the shimmer powder and just sprinkling it all over this paper. And I'm using the end of a paintbrush just to hold the paper in place so it's not curling. Then I'll spritz more water, add more powder, and just continue to do that until I get the look that I like. And you can also use a paper towel and dab off some of the excess water. But I don't want to mix it up a lot since there is a little hint of some other colors in the background. So you can see a little bit of that pink and there's a little bit of green in there as well. Now for my card layers, I'm using some silver mirror cardstock. I cut out the center so I can save that for another project but I don't want to have that big gap in the center. So I did use some scrap cardstock to fill in that rectangle area. I'll use some liquid adhesive on the back of the watercolor paper. I want to make sure it's going to adhere. And since it's been wet, it does warp up quite a bit. So I'm putting my acrylic blocks on top and I let that sit for several minutes just to make sure everything was adhered and it wasn't pulling up at all. I'm going to use three of the skinny ribbons. I have the gray, the purple, and the blue. I'm going to take a piece of score tape, and I was just trying to decide what width I needed. Attach this to the top of the card, and then I'll put the gray ribbon down first, since that's going to be in the center. And then I'll put the purple along the top. I didn't want to do the blue along the top since it's closer to that blue cardstock layer. And then I'll put the blue ribbon on the lower area. Just wrap the ends of the ribbon around the back, hold them in place with a piece of score tape. Put some adhesive on the back of this card front and then I can attach it to my card panel before I move on with the image and the sentiment of this card. I really like how the background turned out. It has a beautiful shimmer and texture. For the images, I'm using three of the coffee or teacups. These are little ephemera pieces. I'm going to put them on the left hand side of the card. I'm going to pop up all of them using some thin foam squares. And I think the foam squares will help 
adhere these pieces in place since it's on top of that shimmer powder. For the sentiment, I've already gone ahead and stamped it out on some white cardstock. This is Live in the Moment. And I'm just gonna fussy cut all around this sentiment. I'm leaving just a little bit of a white border. And this paper is actually the watercolor paper. Since it has a slightly off-white color, I wanted to make sure it's still matched with the background paper. So I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to adhere this in place. And just try to make sure it's going to stay attached to that shimmer powder. I haven't had a problem with anything coming off yet. I'm going to put my acrylic block on there just to let it dry a little bit longer. It's nice to have that extra weight. Now I wanted to tie a bow using all three of the ribbons, but this was not working out well for me at all. So I'm going to struggle with it just a little bit, and I did decide to leave this part in. And then I changed my mind and tossed out the other two, and I'm just going to use the blue ribbon to go with the background cardstock. So I'll just tie that single bow. Attach it to the card using another mini glue dot. And then just finishing touch, I'm going to use some more of the sequins. This time in, I think it's a charcoal, like a gray color. And I'll just have them sprinkled around the sentiment and also some of those mugs. And I'll attach the sequins in place using some multi-media mat. I lay them out first, making sure I like the placement. Although I do change my mind on the one next to the green mug. I decided to move it above the sentiment instead. I think it had a nicer balance. And then just to add a little extra detail to the mugs, I'm using the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops. I'm going to add it to the flower on the pink mug. Just those little dots on the green mug and then also to the flower on that gray mug. So there is my finished card and I really like how this one turned out. Moving on to card number seven. I'm using the add-on stamp set called Stripes and Borders. It has a bunch of different patterns and designs in these fun stripes. I have them all loaded up in my Misty. I think I have all but two of the designs loaded up. I'm going to use an assortment of inks. These are all by Concord and Ninth. They're brand new inks. That'd be fun to try these out. I'm going to ink up two stamps in each of the colors. So I'll have a total of eight little stripes. And I did speed this up quite a bit since it takes me a while to ink all of these up. I do put ink on them several times just to make sure to get good coverage. And then after I inked all of these up and I laid them out, I realized I needed just a couple more. So off screen, I did do two more strips so I would have enough for the card. I love this stamp set. I think it's going to be a great addition. You can always ink up your own pattern paper, especially if you don't have the exact color in the paper that you're using. So I use my trimmer, cut out all of these strips. I didn't worry about the ends since I am going to be cutting them off later. I have a four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock, covered it completely with some ATG tape. And now I'm just going to layer all of these strips onto the background. If you watched any of my videos, this is something I've done quite a bit with pattern paper. So I thought it would be fun to use the stamps in the same way. I'm trying to mix up the colors and the patterns, and I end up with that tiny little corner in the bottom. So I'm going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive and then adhere that one piece. I'm trying to make sure it's going to dry before I start cutting off these extra pieces. So I just flip over the whole piece, use my scissors, and follow along the edge of that four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. So there is that fun background. It really does look a lot like pattern paper. 
And now I'll add a Love From Lizzie silver peel off between each of those patterns. Sometimes I have a little gap in the center, but that's okay. It's going to be covered up later. I'm using the thinnest width of the peel offs. This is the pinstripe style. There are three different widths. Sometimes the reason I use a specific width is simply because that's what I have mostly left over on the sheet. I wanted to make sure I had enough of the same width just for consistency. So I'll just tuck all of those ends behind this panel. Don't want any of those coming off later. And then I'm going to layer this piece on some silver mirror cardstock and also some green cardstock. And the green is a pearlescent paper. So I did cut out the center on this mirror paper. I'll use that on another project later. Add in that scrap cardstock in the center. I'm trying to make sure that I had that green pearlescent paper wide enough. I only have just a little bit of a border showing and I probably could have cut out the center of this piece as well, but I decided not to. So I adhere all of those pieces to my card base and then I cut out a stitched tag die using the gray cardstock that's included in the kit. Pulled out two more of the bloom ephemera pieces, so one in yellow and one in pink. And I'll attach those to the card using some liquid adhesive, although I did decide to pop up the yellow portion of the flower. And for the sentiment, I've gone ahead and stamped out one of a kind, and I'll fussy cut that out, leaving just that thin white border. I could have stamped this out on a sentiment strip, but I decided not to have a lot of the extra white cardstock showing. So before I adhere that in place, I'm going to add some ribbon to the top of the tag using the green skinny ribbon. I'm doubling it up before threading it through that hole. And then I'm not going to cut the ends yet. I am going to add a piece of score tape to the back side just to make sure that ribbon isn't going to slip off of the card layer. And then I'll put some foam dimension on the back of the tag, making sure to get good coverage. I'll remove all of the backing and then center it on my card. I will trim off the top of the ribbon. And later I do trim a little more of the ribbon. Wanted to even it up. And then I decided to also pop up the sentiment. I'll use some thin foam squares for that. Cut those in half since it's a fairly tiny sentiment. And then I'll have it hanging off of the tag just a little bit on the right hand side. Then finishing touch, I'm going to use some of the mini circle teal mirror peel offs. These are included in one of the add-on peel-off bundles. So I'm only using the medium and also the smallest circles. And those small ones are super tiny. I was trying to peel them up with my fingers and sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. So I'm also using my tweezers to help out with that. So I'll put them in the lower upper corner and then also some around the sentiment. And later I do add one more on the left side of the sentiment. And then just one final finishing touch, I add a little bit of the Nouveau Shimmer Pen to the blooms. So moving on to card number eight, pulling out another card sketch. This is Freshly Made Sketches number 426. For the background paper, it's this really fun design with a bunch of diamonds. It has some sentiments in the center of some of those diamonds and then some floral bouquets in the center of the others. Using a lattice design in this purple color for the strip across the card, adding some silver glitter peel-offs, very sparkly. 
I'll first adhere this panel onto the gray cardstock that's included in the kit and then also on some blue cardstock that I included from my craft room. I think it added a really nice contrast and it has some of that blue in the background with the flowers. And then I'll use that same blue cardstock, just cut a tiny little strip and adhere it to that lower left hand corner as indicated in the sketch. I am going to add some of the gray ribbon to the top of the card. Put down that eighth of an inch piece of score tape first. Then I'll have two rows of the ribbon. So when I attach it, I have the ribbon on about half of that score tape. So then when I attach the second piece, it'll be on the other half of that score tape. Wrap the ends behind, adhere them to the back using some wider score tape. I own quite a bit of score tape in different widths. I'll put this piece onto a card base, and then I'll be just tying the bow loosely, since I really didn't like how that previous one turned out. Of course, again, I still messed up that first one and had to start over. But the second time it turned out just fine. Trim off the tails, attach it to the card using a small glue dot, and I'll adhere it to the left hand side of the card since the image is going to go on the right hand side. Add a little more balance. One of the ephemera pieces that's included is this fun pink camera. I love cameras, I love pink, so of course I had to use this image. I'm going to attach it to a circle die cut first, putting a little scrap of cardstock on the upper portion of the circle before I adhere it onto the card. And then I'll pop up the camera using some thin foam squares. I didn't want to cut the circle die cuts any bigger, so the camera does go outside of the circle edges just a little bit, but adding some dimension separates it from that background circle die cut. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using the word amazing. It's one of the ephemera pieces. And I'm going to pop this up using some foam dimensional tape. This is a skinny foam strip. I thought this would be perfect for adding to this sentiment since it's pretty narrow in the center. Although cutting some of these tiny pieces to go around the A loop was fairly tricky. Remove all of the backing and then I'll adhere it underneath the camera more to the left hand side of the card. I keep changing my mind where I wanted to place it. Then to finish off the card, I'm going to use some glossy accents and also some more of the Nouveau Shimmer. So I added it to the flash and also the lens on the camera and then I used the glossy accent and also added it to the lens for some extra shine. And since I already had the glossy accents out, I decided to use it as the embellishment. So I put a few drops around the sentiment and then also a few in the background. So there is my finished card and this is card number eight. Moving on to card number nine. I have some of the gray cardstock that's included in the kit, and then I'm going to use some of the tiny floral stamps from the stamp set. These are all the little rosebuds. So I have three of them on one block, and then I have two on another block. Just going to stamp them all over the background, turning the block just to have more of a random pattern. And then I'll just fill in the little gaps using the other two stamps. So this is going to be the wallpaper. I'm going to create a little living room scene. I'll attach the gray piece first and then I have that strip of the purple lattice pattern paper for the bottom. So that'll be the carpet. Then I'll use some of the white straight peel offs for the trim. Just going to run it all along the edge, flip it over and cut that off with my scissors. And I'm using some of the ephemera pieces. So there's the little chair, there's some plants, little end table, the little picture. So I thought those would look really nice together for a little background scene. 
I'll attach most of them using some liquid adhesive and then I'll pop up a couple of the pieces using some foam squares. Seems like Lizzie's kits tend to have ephemera where you can create these fun little indoor scenes. So for that plant in front of the chair, I'm going to pop that one up with some foam squares. I'll also pop up the plant that's on top of the table. And I wish I would have popped the table as well. They don't look as balanced with one of them popped up and the other not. But I can't pull up the table at all since I used liquid adhesive. For the sentiment stamp, I'm going to do it directly on the carpet. And I want to make sure to get a very solid image. So I have this in my mini Misty. And I am stamping it on that busier pattern paper. But I'm using some black ink, so I think it does stand out enough. The sentiment is, make the most of today. So I'll ink this up several times. That way it gets a good solid impression. And then to finish off the card, I'm going to use a few of the hearts. I'm going to add those above the sentiment. They do blend in a bit with the background, but with the right light hitting them, you can see that really lovely shimmer. Then I'll add some of the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to both of the planters. And then I'll add just a couple drops on that picture around the floral. So there is my finished card, and this is card number nine. Now moving on to my final card, this is card number 10. I'm using the other stamp that's included in the kit. It's a small background stamp. So I'm going to do some heat embossing. I'm going to stamp this on some yellow cardstock. I first pre-treated the cardstock with some anti-static powder, inked it up using some Versamark ink. And then I'll use Love from Lizzie's Glossy Clear Embossing Powder. So I'm making sure I get all of those areas covered with powder. I'll pull out my heat gun and set all of that. And this just has some tiny triangles all in the background. So it'll be a very subtle pattern, but it is still noticeable. It's harder to see in the video. I will be using a card sketch. This is MFT number 490. So I'm switching colors and going to a very yellow card. I have the yellow gingham paper for the background. I'm layering all of this using some gold mirror cardstock. So again, I cut out that center just to save for another project. Fill in with some scrap cardstock. Add this yellow pattern paper on top. Next, I'll put some ATG on the back of this center panel. Add it to my card front. Trying to get it nice and centered. I'll put my card front onto a card base. And this card is fairly thick with all of the layers, especially that gold cardstock. It seems to be really thick. For the image, I'm using this large floral bouquet ephemera piece. I'm going to pop this up using some foam dimensional tape. I'll remove all of the backing and center it on my card. And I'm not really following this sketch exactly. I'm using it more for inspiration. For the sentiment, I cut this piece off of one of the pattern paper that has a bunch of different sentiments. So this is Grow Where You Are Planted. And I'm going to layer this on the same gold mirror cardstock. And then I'll add it below that floral image. I decided not to pop it up. I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive and tuck it slightly underneath that bottom leaf that's hanging down. And then finishing touch, I'm going to use some more of the sequins this time in this off-white pearlescent color. I really like the softness of the colors on this card. I'll just attach those using some liquid adhesive. And I flipped one of the sequins over. So I had to go and wipe that off because I had glue everywhere. Then I'll attach the final three sequins. And since I've been having so much fun adding shimmer to my cards, I'm using the Nouveau Shimmer Pen again. 
adding it to all of the flowers on this image. I'm not a big fan of using loose glitter on my cards, but the shimmer pan is really nice since it still adds that pretty sparkle without making a big mess. So there is my finished card and this is card number 10. Now here's just a quick recap of the 10 cards I made using Love From Lizzie's August 2020 card kit. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit is still available along with most of the add-ons. If you are interested, I would suggest not waiting. Her card kits sell out every single month. The only way to guarantee receiving a kit is to sign up for the monthly subscriptions. I do have links provided in the description box where you can purchase the kit individually or you can sign up for the subscriptions. Lizzie's kits are always fun. I look forward to them every single month. Now here's everything I have left over from making those 10 cards. I had two full sheets of cardstock and quite a bit of the other cardstock colors. I have most of that 12 by 12 sheet left over whole bunch of scraps and also four full sheets of the six by six pattern paper. I have lots of the puffy stickers, tons of the ephemera left. I still have lots of the peel offs, almost a full bag of the sequins. There's a little bit of the ribbon left over, I have the shimmer powder, and of course the two stamp sets. And then I also have the alphabet dies and those you can use again and again. So I'll still be able to make several more cards using what I have left over. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.